Thanks for watching our new series called Weather for Kids. It's a fun way to learn about weather at home. Today we're going to do a hands-on experience that you can do on a little bit of a gloomy day. I'm Alex George in the Storm Team 27 Weather Center. Yesterday, Chief Meteorologist Paul Wetzel told you about the start of spring. Spring officially starts today at 1149 tonight, and he explained that with spring we typically see more rain and more thunderstorms, so a perfect time to make a rain gauge. Now a rain gauge is something that we use to measure how much rain has fallen over a period of time. Now this is something that you can do at home. I'm sure you have all of the tools necessary somewhere around the house. Here's a couple things that you'll need. Most importantly, you'll need a ruler. That way you can measure how much rain you have. Here's Here's where you've got a couple of different options. If you have maybe a two liter of pop sitting around the house, that's something that you can use to make your rain gauge. I found a jar just sitting in the weather center, so this is what I'm going to use. You can also use any kind of clear container, so maybe an old peanut butter jar, a mayonnaise jar. You'll want to make sure you empty the contents and take off all the wrappers so that you can see through it. Clearly, if I'm going to use this two liter, I'll need to do some homework on this before I can use this. So today we'll be using the jar. So what you'll want to do, make sure you, again you have all of the labels off whatever you're going to use. You can then take your ruler, and this part is a little bit optional, a ruler and a permanent marker, and you'll be able to set the ruler right next to the jar, and you'll be able to mark a half an inch, an inch, an inch and a half, two, and that way your rain gauge will be labeled. Now again, that's just an option. The other thing you can do, just take your jar, you'll take it with you outside, make sure it's in an open area. You want it to be away from any trees, and you'll set it outside. After it rains, you can then take your ruler and go outside and measure. So again, you don't necessarily have to label. Maybe mom doesn't want you using the permanent marker. You'll then take your ruler, set it next to your jar, and you'll measure how much rain has fallen. Now, a couple of suggestions. Again, you want to make sure you're setting this in an area that's open. So not underneath a porch, maybe somewhere in the backyard away from trees. The Better idea also, make sure that your the whatever you're using for your rain gauge is heavy. For example, tonight we've got some gusty winds in the forecast, so something like a jar is probably going to stand up a little bit better. If you're using something like an empty two liter, maybe take a couple of rocks and set it around your rain gauge. That way there's less of a chance that it's going to tip over. So if you get busy today and make that rain gauge, you'll want to set it outside this afternoon before our next round of rain moves in. If you are doing any of these hands-on projects, enjoy these videos, let us know. Snap a picture, send it in to us at WKBN.com and click report it. We'd love to see all the weather activities you're staying busy with.